Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays where we take 5 minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. Today we are going to take a look at 1 John chapter 1, the first four verses. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testify to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. And the reason I wanted to share that with you today is um, actually because of that, that very last line in there. We write this to you to make our joy complete. Because what John is talking about is that the physical Jesus truly was there. All right, there were some doubters at the time, and so he was, he was writing against that and saying, no, we've seen him, we've talked to him, we've touched him. Like, he was real, he was here, he was a human. He's not just a spiritual dude, you know? He's not just a, a presence, he's not just a thought. He is a man. And as he was proclaiming that, what he's sharing here is it, it, it's completing my joy to be able to share this with you, this message of Christ, this message of, of who Jesus is and, and what he was all about. And, and, and that idea of that joy just, it, it immediately brought my mind back to the, the first time I ever went to Gary's Automotive. And I actually had to go get some work done yesterday, and so this triggered in my mind too. God was just working in awesome ways. But the first time I went to Gary's, um, you know, I, was, I introduced myself. I was recommended to go there by some, some members from Beautiful Savior, and I, I said, like, hey, I'm the new pastor at Beautiful Savior. My name's Kevin. Just, I was recommended to come here. I need some work done, and I, I wanted to meet you. You know, we're, we share a street. Uh, you know, how can we be praying for you? Tell me about your story. What's going on? And we were having a great conversation, and then he, he kind of paused and he said, hey, I, I want to show you something. And he took me into his office, and he, he showed me these four pictures. And at first glance, these, these four pictures look like what you'd expect to see in a mechanic's office. But then he, he, he took me a little closer into him, and he said, this, this one has this Bible verse. Because, and he started walking through One, each one has a different Bible verse on it, and each one has a different meaning to him of significance as to why he wanted that in the picture. And he was just so excited about it, and he kind of ended with saying like, and yeah, these are my opportunities to share Jesus with others. If someone looks at them, or they they ask about them, or they're like, hey, what's, you know, what's Route 46? I don't know what that's about. Uh, and, And what's that little dot thing in there? And it's just, it was so cool to see how excited he was to share with me the joy he got from getting to share Jesus in this way. And it got me thinking about, you know, do, do we all have that kind of joy when we share Jesus? Have we found that thing about a relationship with Jesus that, that gets us more excited than anything else? And I, I was asking myself, you know, what is it that brings me that kind of joy? What is it that I am most excited to tell someone about? And I'd ask you that same question. What is it that excites you the most about your relationship with Jesus? Because when we're excited about something, I'm going to tell you right now, we are much more likely to tell someone about that. We're much less likely to listen to the lies of Satan where he tells you, like, I don't think they really want to hear that from you. You know, I don't think you're really the person they would want to even hear that from. You know, do you really know enough to even tell someone about Jesus? Whatever the lie is, his goal is to keep you as quiet as possible. But when we find something that excites us, y'all, it's hard to contain that joy. It's hard to keep it to ourselves. We, we desperately want someone to hear this and to know, like, you don't understand the joy that I have with this, you know? And if we can find that, we are much more likely to then share that message of grace and forgiveness with folks who who maybe have no idea who Jesus is or what he's about. So what is that thing that gives you joy about your relationship with Jesus? For me, it's it's the unlimited forgiveness. And I'm very intentional with the word unlimited because I, whether you knew this or not, I sin a lot. And oftentimes I fall into the same sins over and over and over again. And yet I am constantly reminded of the fact that every single one of my sins was paid for. 
whether it's coming to church and hearing it in, in the, the absolution, the confession and absolution that we do, whether it's in, in the songs that we get to sing, whether it's, it's reading the, the, the Bible stories with, with my daughter or just reading them for myself, you know, it's all over the place that I'm being reassured of the fact that Christ has died for me. And y'all, I gotta tell you right now, that gives me more joy than anything else. And, and my deepest desire is that everyone would know that it does not matter how many times you have sinned or what your sin is, Christ has died for you. That is a message that I feel confident sharing. That is a message that, that brings me joy just to think about, and that is a message that when I get to share it, I'm gonna tell you, I think I understand what John is talking about when he says we write this to make our joy complete. Because that is a moment where someone gets to hear again of the awesome grace of Jesus. And so again, I put it back to you, what brings you joy in your relationship with Jesus? I encourage you to answer that question and then to take it to God in prayer, to thank him for that part of your story, for that part of, of, of your relationship with Jesus that you're so excited about. And then I challenge you to ask God to give you an opportunity to make your joy complete to give you an opportunity to share that thing that gives you more joy than anything else about your relationship with Jesus with someone around you. Maybe it's someone you know, maybe it's someone you don't, but I challenge you to ask yourself, what brings you joy about your relationship with Jesus? And then to ask God to give you an opportunity to share that with someone else. 